Okay, guys, let's start. Okay, so uh, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, viewers, from wherever you are watching this. We are right now in the uh, last round of Grip Mega Quiz. And uh, let me just tell you about this Grip program first. So, there are thousands of students who have participated in this program, and right now we have our three finalists. They had to go through a lot of uh, activities. A lot of exams and they were there in the super batch as well and from there they are finally getting selected in this particular round and this would be that that round where they would be competing with each other for the one last time uh, to get the crown so before i just introduce you with the three participants of uh, three panels of this uh, grip mega quest i would like to show you i'd like to tell you something about how the grip works okay by the way uh, I'll be using two screens right now. So, uh, guys, whenever I'll be uh, doing some technical stuff, like whenever I'll be sharing something, I'll be looking at on my left side uh, because there is another screen that I have. And when I'll be talking to you, I'll be looking straight. Okay, I guess uh, you can hear me, everyone. So there was a internet issue that I was facing. Yes, so as I was saying, as I was saying, Kara, there were three levels of grip. So uh, in the level one, there were puzzles, there were quizzes, and all those things. And after that, they have to go into a super paper. And after that, they went on to the level two. And in the level two, what happens is there are puzzles, there are, and there is the super batch, the most prestigious super batch, where they got selected from level one. And after the super batch, in super batch, we teach them uh, things about the recent research topics which is happening around us. And from there, they have given a test on a mega paper. And from the mega paper, we are selecting right now these three participants, these three finalists, those you can see right now in front of you. So, um, guys, over here, this uh, after this entire mega quiz is over, you're going to get to know what type of what are the uh, prizes that you're going to get we will be posting that in our uh, instagram and in our facebook uh, pages okay so now let's just go straight to the participants and let's just uh, have an introdu introduction of all of them so i would start with you shreyash uh, just introduce yourself to the viewer hello everyone my name is shreyash raut and i come from india i live in india in mumbai city I go to school in Arya Vidya Mandir, Juhu, and uh, this grip has been a very nice experience for me. It has okay. taught many things. Is it the first time you are here in grip? Yes, it to has. Make a quick? Time, yeah. Okay, yes. so congratulations for that. Now, uh, just tell me about your experience. Like, uh, to be precise, like how uh, about the activities that you have gone through? Yeah. Which is the favorite activity and? Cool. My favorite activity was the terrarium activity, the biology one. Okay. In order to make a DIY terrarium in our mm -hmm. house. Out of because of COVID, we couldn't uh, take any materials from outside. At least I couldn't buy any materials. So I had to take them all the materials from my garden and I had to make the terrarium at home. Okay. And uh, what about your future goals? What are you targeting for right now? I am uh, targeting for either cracking JE or NEET. I am not yet decided between the engineering or the medical side. So currently it is PCB and M for me. Okay, so you are uh, going for all of them, right? What's the favorite subject to be precise? Uh, what? What is the favorite subject? What is the subject that you like the most? It is science and science. I think that's I like the most, but I like okay. But science more. So any, not in particular, not in chemistry, not like physics or anything like that. Like the entire science. Only entire science. Okay, Shriyas. It was 
nice meeting you now i would just uh, go to the next participant next finalist that we have for uh, today's uh, mega quiz it's ishita vinod ishita introduce yourself to the people yeah so i'm ishita i come from kerala and uh, i have uh, been with askaitens like uh, from 6th grade and this is like my first time like qualifying for the last round like i never thought i'd get this far and i'm really happy about that and even like the uh, what do you say the whole journey was also nice the super batches uh, i really like the chemistry lecture and all about alchemy and for the activities i i too like the biology one the terrarium one one reason because biology is one of my favorite subjects and also like it was really fun to you know collect stuff and you know like uh, make it all come together yeah okay shita so what is your target like uh, right now i have like not decided on which profession i want to pursue but right now i'm just targeting for j for j right so uh, you like maths then that's the uh, not exactly is, maths is i yeah. like physics basically maths i'm not very interested in maths but yeah so you are most interested in physics that's physics and bio actually physics and bio okay uh fine ashita so congratulations to you as well because you have made it here for the first time and uh, for the best now i would move on to uh, antarik uh, antarik introduce yourself Uh, hi everyone i am antarik maiti from india i live in calcutta west bengal okay now the grief has been a wonderful journey for me uh, i would not, i would not say that grief was tough but the questions from the first and second round were rather logical we have to think we have to apply our uh, mind and give the answers mm -hmm. the my i would i my favorite activity it's a favorite but rather fascinating activity was the chemistry activity where you would have to perform a crystallization of common salt or uh, sugar uh, it was the it was the month of december a winter season and the environment was cold it was uh, the environment was perfect for the process of crystallization to happen cold and dry mm -hmm. okay i have never i have never seen a crystal like uh, forming in front of my eyes that was so fascinating i hope i cannot yeah, say yeah we have just uh, heard about that right we have just seen pictures of those crystals right but that was the first time you saw it in front of you right yeah like forming in front of me like it was like seeing a ghost <laughs> really okay so what is the favorite subject brother my favorite subject is biology so we have everyone like bio and physics not even chemistry no one is there for chemistry right no i would no my future option is to be a virologist and to, i and i would like to invent vaccines and other medicines using virus to prevent further pandemics like this one so microbiology and all those type of things yeah right? virology virology yeah okay. medicines that that's so chemistry medicine and all of those stuffs so you do know that for medicines you have to learn chemistry in a proper yeah. way right yes Okay, better. So, um, guys, they, uh, these were the three finalists of uh, today's uh, Grip Mega Quest. So now we would be moving on to the first round. And um, guys, first, let me tell you about the rules of this round. So definitely, after each and every round, we would be showing you the scoreboard. Okay, and uh, th there are total of four rounds in here. Okay, so let's start from the with the first round. so whenever i would be showing you the ppts and something i'll be looking in this side so guys i can i think you can see the screen now that's it yeah there we are so so this is our first round over here and as you can see the name of the round is memory challenge now let me tell you what are the rules of this round so first of all there would be total there would be the um, some words coming in front of you okay in the screen so you have to just tell me the words like if you have to remember the words okay in the per particular order in the perfect order and then you have to answer it right in the chat one more thing guys you have to send all the answers to me uh, not privately you have to send the answers to me, to the public chat okay so that everyone can see it okay 
Now, as you can see, the first um, rule is the finalist who is giving the most appropriate order of at least seven words. It's like uh, there would be seven words out of them. The one who would be giving the most number of appropriate proper order can maintain the proper order. He would be giving getting plus 30. And the second one would be getting plus 20. And the third one would be getting plus 10. It would be depending on the number of uh, words you are writing in the proper order, in the proper chronology. Is that clear, everyone? Right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So I, I think all of all three of you are ready now. So you have to write it down in the chat. Okay. Like what were the chronological order of the words? Okay. So you have 15 seconds for this. Okay. So here it is. Now, I got answer from Ishita. Antarik. And Shriyash. So I got answer from all three of you. So I would go with now the order of the word where this. So Ishita, you have written light first, then line, then long. Long is also correct. Then man, that is also correct. Then mean, then men, money most move and much so all all of the correct all of the words were correct and they were in the perfect chronology as well and as ishita is the first one to give the entire correct answer she's gonna get plus 30 for this question now if i move on to the next participant who was antarik so antarik your answer is light then you have long so after light we had line which you missed so now i'm moving on to shares, so just to say, yeah, shares you as well. You have also written light, and after that, long. So both of you have missed the mis made the mistake in the very second word. So as Antarik, you have sent the answer in the second in the order. So you'd be getting plus twenty, and shares your answer was last. That's why you'd be getting plus ten. So right now, plus thirty to Isita plus 20 to Antarik and plus 10 to Shreyas. Okay, now let's move on to the next round. You have to find the difference. Guys, you do remember these type of games we were used to play earlier as well, right? So there would be two pictures right in front of you. You have to spot the difference and uh, you would be having 15 seconds per picture, okay? So there would be two pictures right in front of you. You have to spot the difference and you have to you have to write in. Let me just tell you the rules one more time. So as you can see over here, uh, there are five images in this round. They are writing. And time of the attempt is 15 seconds. So per picture, there will be 15 seconds. I'll be giving it. And uh, as you can see, the finalist who wants to write, who wants to uh, answer, they have to type in. Now, guys, the moment you type in, you ha have to have your answers ready. Like you cannot think after that. I would give you two to three seconds. And before that, you have to send me the answer. Okay. Now you have to write in. That is the buzzer. So whoever write, writes in first, they would be getting that person would be getting the first opportunity. Now, for the correct answer, you can see that you'd be getting plus 20. And let's say the first person who have written in and had got it wrong, then I'll be giving the opportunity to the second person who have written in. So for that, if he is right, he or she is right, then you're gonna get plus 50. And if he or she is wrong as well, then I'm going to give the opportunity to the third person. And in that case, he or she will be getting plus 10. The rules are clear, guys? Everyone? Yes, yes sir. Perfect. So let's start this then.
just a second guys there is a technical problem yeah okay so i'll be showing sharing the scoreboard to you just after this round is over okay right now ishita you are in plus 30 players you are in plus 10 and uh Antarik, you are in plus 20 right you need to type in the moment you find something Time is over. Shares, you are the one who's writing in first. So, go on. So, there's a minion there. He has his eye closed in the second picture, half closed. And in his the first picture, he has the eye fully open. Um, where would you be able to spot me? To it? It's, uh, no, it's up, up, more up. Okay. To the right. This one? Yeah, there. Very good. That's the right answer, guys. So, uh, Shreyas, you are going to get plus 20 for giving the right answer. Okay. Now, moving on to the second picture, guys. You can see? That is what we are talking about. Now, the second picture is this. Time is up. Anyone? There is no negative marking in there, guys. You can try. Okay. So I'm not getting in from any one of you. So this question, all of you are getting zero points. So right now, uh, Shreyash, you are in plus 20 for this round. Okay. Now, let's see. This was difficult, isn't it? Okay, question number three. I got in from Ishita and in from Shreyas and in from Antarik, all three of you. Ishita, you're going to get the first opportunity. Yeah, so, so the uh, red balloon and the blue balloon, the smallest one. Uh, would you be able to navigate? Uh, Can I move uh, right or left? Just, just, uh, yeah, um, right. Right? Yeah. yeah. That balloon and the in the another picture, it's red. That's the red, right? So that's the right answer coming from Ishita. So plus twenty for Ishita. Okay. Moving on to the next question. As you can see, this is the difference, right? I guess all three of you were able to find it, isn't it? Moving on to that picture number four. So you can see no one of you have, none of you have uh, sent in. So you can see this is where the difference is, isn't it? You can see that there is a white spot over here, which is not in this picture, right? So that is yeah. the difference. Okay. So again, zero for all three of you. Now, guys, we are on the fifth and the last picture, okay?
Yes. M. Yes. The minion I is in the first one half closed and in the second one open. You are yeah. good with the eyes, isn't it, Shreyas? Uh, perhaps. Yeah. Um, Antarik, I think you are about to say the same thing only. The eyes part. Yes, sir. Anyways, Shreyas, you are the first one to type in. That's why you are getting plus 20. So, Shreyas, you are getting plus 40 for this round. And Ishita, you are getting plus 20. And uh, Antarik, sadly, you are on zero right now for this for this round. So now let's just go to the scoreboard and let's see what is the present scenario and what's the score right now. So as the scoreboard stands, So this is the scoreboard for the time being right now. You can see. Yeah, there you are. So uh, overall score is, Shriyash, you are on plus 50. Antarik, you are on plus 20. And uh, Ishita, you are on plus 50 as well. So it's a tie from both of you, Shriyash and Ishita. But guys, there are two more rounds left. And uh, there is a huge opportunity for Antarik that if you just think that if you take him lightly, he can come back anytime. So, guys, there's a, this, this is going to be a very interesting fight for both of you, for all three of you now. Okay. So, Antarik, you have a chance to come back. You have to do better now. Right. Yes, sir. sir actually, I have weak in and uh, spotting difference from the uh, from side dude, actually. I cannot, yeah. I don't pay attention to details. That's my weakness. That's completely fine, Beta. Never give up early. You have two more rounds left, and two more rounds can change everything right now. The entire picture right now, isn't it? So best yeah, of luck to I all three so. of you now. Okay, definitely. Okay, now uh, we'll be moving on to the fourth round now. Right, guys. So as you can see right here, the th uh, third round, sorry, the third round right now. Yeah. So the third round is going to be very interesting. You have to pick a subject. So right now I have seen that I have asked all of you that which subject do you like the most. So some of you have to fight for the same subject. I guess biology is that, that subject which is going to be. So the rule is going to be like this. First, um, you can see there would be four different sets of four subjects. Okay. And finalists can choose their own subject of their own choice. But for that, they need to fight for it. So how would that be decided? As you can see, uh, first, I will be showing you a common question for all three of you. That question will be common. If whoever types in first, like the puzzle round only, whoever types in first, he or she would be getting the first opportunity to see the answer. And if or he or she says the right answer, he's, they are going to choose the first subject. The first topic. Now, I would suggest all three of you to type in because the point is, let's say, for an example, let's say Shreyas got it right. So Shreyas is the first one who got it right. Then I would be having Ishita and um, Antarik over there. And uh, for that, I would be going through the order, right? Order of their puzzles. Understood? So that is how it's going to be. So uh, definitely, guys, one more thing. This question is also carrying marks. So it's not only you are going to get the first opportunity to choose the subject. But also, you're going to get plus 20 points for this. Understood, everyone? Go through the rules. And if the rules is still the same, if you are typing in first, but if your answer is wrong, then the second person is going to get the opportunity. And if he or she says the right answer, then he would be getting plus 50 and then plus 10. So it's going to be out of the, like, in the order of the choice. If you give an incorrect answer if, or you don't answer, do you get minus marks? No. You, if you write type in and if you do not answer, then you would be getting minus five. But incorrect answer for that, you are not going to have any negative marking in this round. Okay? For the choice round. But yes, for the subject round, there would be a negative mark. That is the next step. So right now, I'd be showing you a question. Depending on your answers, you're going to choose the, you would be able to choose the subject and you'd be getting plus 20. A plus 15 or plus 10 call. Clear, guys? 
Yes, right? sir. Yes, perfect. So, yeah, 15 seconds is the time you have. So, the question is just a sec. Let me just write round three. Okay. What has 13 hearts but no lungs or stomach? Okay. Shresh is the first one to type in, but you got 10 more seconds. Ishita is the second one to type in. So that's Lirantari to the third position, and your time is up. 15 seconds is up. Shresh, what's your answer? Octopus. Octopus. Okay. Uh, Ishita, what's your answer? Same, sir. Octopus. Okay. And uh, Antarik, if they are wrong, just listen to me. If they are wrong, then you're going to get the point as well as the first choice. So, what's your answer now? Octopus. So, all three of you are going for octopus now. So why suddenly octopus? Like, have you read it somewhere? That it has no stomach. Like, octopus, they do not have a stomach or a lung. No, so it's just simply a guess because octopus has like yes. so many number of stuff. So, so let me tell you, that's not a right answer, but we still have to choose somebody. So I'm going to give you another opportunity in the same order. So uh, shares octopus is not the right answer. So go for it again. Uh, earthworm. Earthworm. Okay. Ishita, second chance. Sir, I should answer, right? Oh, elephant. Can, oh, come on. Elephant has a big stomach. How can you go for it? Like, you like bio, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, uh, Antarik? Uh, sir, I, I will now go for mandarin fish. What? Man. <laughs> now, guys, let me tell you. This is, a, this is not a knowledge-based question. This is an aptitude-based question. Think in that way. Still, none of you are right. So I'll be giving you 10 more seconds. We have to choose somebody from here. I would give you 10 more seconds. You have to type in again. Who has the answer? Don't think in the basis of knowledge, you know. At 13 hearts, 13. Heart. Antarik. Go on. Snail. 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 Okay. Okay. Interesting. Cheers. Spider. What? Spider. Spider. Yeah. Okay. Now it's getting difficult. Still not right. So, anything from you, Shita? No, so I figured, figured out something, but I'm not able okay. to figure it out. Let me give you a hint. Let me give you a hint. Again, guys, you have to type in. Okay, in the basis of that, I'll be giving you the opportunity. So, um, it's not an element. It's not an element. Now think about it. An animal, it's not an animal, but still it has 13 hearts. Think about something. It has 13 hearts. The number 13. Okay, so the last hint, guys. After that, I have to move on. Okay, I got some uh, Antarik. Go on. You're the first one to type in. Valentine's Day card. What? Say so it is a Valentine's Day card. 
Valentine's Day card, you are very close, but that's not the right answer. Cheers. So it is the Jack card. In Jack the, card mean? In the set of playing cards. Jack card. That has 13 hearts? Yeah. Ishita? Sir, in the deck is the heart. That's the right answer. The deck, you know, guys, you are so close. Yes, you are so close. It's not the jack. It's about the entire cards. You have 13 hearts, isn't it? Spreads, hearts. You get that? Yes. You are so close, Reyes. You are so close. And so you know, he practically gave me the answer. Yeah, exactly. He just opened the doors, Reyes. Uh, don't worry, Peter. It's That was a very, you know, very good answer, though. Antarik, you are the first one who initiated it with the cards, isn't it? Yeah, he with the it. Valentine's cards. Now they got the idea from there. So you are the pathfinder for them right now. Any which way, so Ishita, you are going to get the first opportunity. Fierce, you uh, were very close to the answer, so you would be getting the second opportunity to choose. And Antarik, you would be getting the third opportunity to choose. So uh, the answer is the deck of cards. That's right. Now, guys, there would be, uh, as I said earlier, I have told you the entire rule for this. Okay, by the way, I, told, I forgot to tell you about the score. So for this round, Ishita, you are the only one to get plus 20. Okay, for the last question. And that was right. Right? Now, so as you can see over here, 90 seconds would be given to you and uh, for the attempt of the five questions. Okay. Plus 20 score will be given to you uh, for every right answers. And over here, you can see five will be subtracted. And additional plus 20 score will be given to you. Additional five. Uh, and uh, now the rule are just the same. Plus 20 will be given to you if you just uh, get the right answer. Minus five, there will be a negative marking in there. Additional plus 20 score would be given to you if you get all of them correct. So guys, there would be one subject. Let's say uh, in chemistry, you'd be getting four to five questions. If you get all of them correct, then you'd be getting a bonus of plus 20 as well. Plus 20 per question. And if you get all of them correct, then there would be a bonus of plus 20. You can definitely skip a uh, question. Okay. But you cannot, if you give it wrong answer, then you are going to get minus five. And there's one more thing, guys. You cannot, like from the question number one, you cannot ask me to show you question number five. You have to go to question number two. And if you can answer it, answer it, or otherwise you have to leave it. You cannot come back. Is that clear? Okay. So the, let me just open the timer for you. Just a sec. Now, I would be sharing the scoreboard first. I forgot to do that. I would be sharing the scoreboard first, the recent scoreboard that we have for this round. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, as you can see, there is only plus 20 for Ishita. All this was pretty obvious, but still, I showed you the scoreboard. Now, I'll be moving on to the question. So, guys, as you can see, there are a total of four subjects. Okay. You need to choose from here. So, Ishita, you are yes. going to... Take your first pick out of this four. Biology, sir. Biology. So, Ishita, right. Okay, so bio for Ishita. And uh, next would be Shriyash. I think physics. You think physics? Physics, physics. Okay, so Shriyash is physics. Right. So that's leave you with two options, Antarik. Chemistry or math? Chemistry, chemistry. Chemistry. Okay. So uh, guys, so no one have no one has chosen maths, so 
definitely we would be starting with the set B, chemistry. Chemistry was chosen by Antarik, right? Yes, sir. So, so Antarik, do you like chemistry? Not so much. So? Sir, but I have a memory so I can remember the stuff of chemistry. So you are saying that chemistry is all about memorizing stuff, isn't it? Yes, sir. For mm -hmm. me. For you. Okay, fine. So right now, Shreyas, as you can see, this is the set B for you, which is chemistry. So you'd be getting a total of, uh, I'd be giving you 90 seconds, a total of 90 seconds. Okay. In this 90 seconds, there'll be five questions in there you have to answer. Understood? Per question, yes, you'll be getting plus 20 and minus five negative marking if that's wrong. And you cannot come back to one question again. Everything is clear? So, so now, you need uh, to answer in chat or by uh, mic? No, you can just uh, turn on your mic and you can just tell me. Okay. But before that, show me your hands. Put the hands. Yeah, fine. Okay. So I have a doubt. Uh, we are yeah. not Rough work for physics. What? Rough work. Yeah, you can do rough. Okay. For, physics. for chemistry as well, you can do rough work. Okay. That was just uh now I'm gonna start this round. So Antrik, you're ready, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So the first question for you is the reaction between an acid and a base is called what? Options are there. So the options are combination, option B is decomposition, option C is neutralization, and option D is subdivision. So what's your answer? C, neutralization. C, neutralization, and neutralization is the right answer. Very good. So Antrik, you are getting plus 20 for the first question. Now, the second question is, the hardest chemical in your body is option A, the kidney stone, option B, the fingernails, option C, the tooth enamel, option D, the bones. C, tooth enamel. Tooth enamel is a correct answer. Very good, Antrik. Now, moving on to the third question, which is, you can melt the following metal simply by holding it in the palm of your hand. With, what is this metal? A, gallium. A, gallium. And A, gallium is the right answer. Very good, Antrik. Now, moving on to the next question, which is that what color liquefied oxygen is? What is the color of liquefied oxygen? You have four options, white, colorless, pale green, pale blue. D, pale blue. Pale blue is also the correct answer. Very good and three. Now, this is the last and the final question. If you get it right, you'd be getting plus 20 per bonus. Which letter, which is the only letter that doesn't appear in the, anywhere in the periodic table? Options are Y, Z, T, and J. Take your time. Uh -huh. Five seconds. Then G, J. J. G, D, J. Right. And your time is yes. up as well. And Andrek, what do you think? Is that the right answer? Uh, yes, J. You're pretty confident. Yes, sir. 60%. 60%. And you said you don't like chemistry, isn't it? Oh, and the right. answer is right. That is the right Sorry, answer, guys. Have... So you got all five answers correct. That's why you are going to get plus 20 bonus marks as well. Now, like I said, that was a tremendous comeback by Antrik. Now, I'll be moving on to the next round. So, Antrik, you are right now. For this round, you got a total of 5 into 20. So you got hundreds marks for this particular round and that was a brilliant game played by you now the next is gonna be for let me check physics who took physics that was shreyas isn't it shreyas um show me the page that is right now in front of you okay both the sides okay right and would you be able to Turn your camera towards your desk. Perfect, yes, perfect, perfect. So now I'm going to start. So right now, Antrik, you are on plus 100 for this round. So now, Antrik, you do know the, uh, sorry, Shreyas, you do know the rules, right? 
yeah. don't have to dictate it anymore so if that if you feel like the answer is wrong don't answer us because you would be getting minus 5 for a wrong answer right i get all five correct i get plus 10 20 you get if you get all correct then yeah per question you would be getting plus 20 and if you get all of them correct then you would be getting a bonus point right yeah so like uh, antrik got five correct he got 100 marks for this round and plus a bonus 20 so he is right now in 120 for this round is that clear yes yes very good now the first question for you shreyas is the frequency of the subsonic sound is option a more than 20 hertz option b 100 hertz less than 20 hertz and more than 20000 hertz less than 20 hertz less than 20 hertz is option a so you are going with option a and which is the correct answer very good cheers so that's the correct answer moving on to the second question tap water is a good conductor of electricity while distilled water is not because option a is tap water contains salts option b distilled water do not contain salts option a. only a is correct and both a and b is correct both are correct both are correct option d then yes that's the correct answer option d is right both of a and b is correct now moving on to the third question which is whenever the surface in uh, contact is in contact tend to move or move with respect to each other and the force of friction comes into play option a is only if the objects are solid only if the objects both objects are is liquid only if one of the two objects is gaseous and irrespective of gaseous so option d is your pick right yes that's the correct answer as well shears nicely going and now going on to the fourth question which is a container is filled with water shown as shown in the figure given figure so there be a figure and uh, which of the following statement is correct about the pressure of the water you can see the question as uh, options right now option uh, d is correct pressure so pressure smaller than pressure at b which is smaller than pressure at c pressure at c is the maximum so option d and option d is correct so you are going to get 20 plus as well now the last question is what's the angle of incidence of a ray if reflected ray is at an angle of 90 degree 90 degree to the incident ray options are 60 45 90 and 180 how much time you got 5 seconds left quickly 45 degrees 45 degree log which is option b right what do you think is that a correct answer yes yes it is yeah I... and answer is correct yes so you got all five correct as well so definitely you are going to get plus 100 and plus 20 marks as a bonus because you got all of them correct so very well played now moving on to ishita ishita you are going for bio isn't it yes sir let's see so So there we go, Ishita. So I guess you are ready. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, first, you just show me your hands. Do you have a paper right in front of you? No. Nothing. Okay. Would you be able to show that desk to me, Peter? Oh. Okay. Perfect. Now, right now, moving on to the questions. So the first question is Ishita. Ishita for you. The kitchen of the cell is called. Cell oh, one B. B chloroplast, right? Yes. And chloroplast is the correct answer. Now the next question is two four D is A. Pesticide, insecticide, fungicide, B weedicide. D weedicide. The weedy side. That's your answer. Let's see it. It's the pesticide. So you are gonna get minus five for this. Mm -hmm. Moving on to the next question. Malaria is caused by. 
Protozoa. A protozoa. A protozoa is the correct answer, Ishita. You are getting plus 20 for this question. Now, moving on to the next question, which is the number of chromosomes are present in human cells are. Uh, no. 23 pairs, B. 23 pairs, option B, right? Yeah. That's the correct answer as well, Ishita. So you're going to get plus 20 for that. Now, the last question is Project Tiger was launched on. How much time do I have left, sir? You have 10 seconds. 12, guys. B. B, 23rd May 1973. Mm -hmm. Was that a guess or do you know about that, sir? Uh, I did know it, but now I don't know it's a guess. Okay, so 23rd May is the wrong answer. So you got minus five there. So right now, let me just tell you what are the scores for this round. So uh, Ishita, you got two negative markings to minus 10. So it's coming as 20 plus 20 plus 20, 60 positive marking and 10 negative. So it's plus 50 for you, Ishita. For um, Antrik over here, that's going to be six correct, five correct and one bonus point. So 120 and same goes for you, Shreyas. So 120, 120 and 50. That's the score. So now I think we need to have a look in the scoreboard, isn't it? And there would be some changes, isn't it, in the scoreboard right now? But that won't be much because Ishita got the choosing answer correct, isn't it? So for that, she got plus 20. So that difference is not going to be much. So let's have a look in the scoreboard. So as the scoreboard stands, So guys, you can see the scoreboard right now is right in front of you. So in round three, Ishita got 70 because 50 plus 20 for the choosing question, 70. Antarik and Shreyas got 120 each, 120 each. So 120 each as a result, the score right now would stands like Shreyas, you are leading right now by 170 points and uh, Antarik, you are the second with 140 points and 120 points for Ishita. Now, let me tell you, the last round can still change the entire calculation that you can see right now. So, guys, it's still not the job done, Shreyas. You are close to the finishing point. You have to keep your composer. So, before I move on to the last round right now, just uh, tell me how, um, what was your experience so far about that particular round where you saw that all five answers were correct. But your, your pick was bio, isn't it? So... Yes? Uh, my experience, physics was pretty easy. I mean, they didn't. There are no facts in physics, so that's why I chose it. Mm -hmm. and so, so, your I first know, preference was bio, isn't it? If you got the correct answer for the thirteen, the deck of cards, that question, I which subject would have been you? Which subject would have you would have been choosing if you are the first one to choose? Six. You would have been choosing physics only. Yeah, because physics is not factual much, and I know the concepts. Okay, and uh, over there, Antrik, you have played this round pretty nicely, isn't it? We can see that yes, the score you are just thirty point less, and as I told, the last equation, the last round is gonna change the entire equation. So Ishita, you were there in the top, and you can be there again. So till the job is not done again for all three of you. So the last round. And uh, best of luck to all three of you now. Moving on to the last round. And this round is going to be very interesting, very much connecting to you. Okay. Now, let me share the last round with you. So, guys, the last round and the fourth round is you need to name the character. Characters means cartoon character. You guys do watch cartoons, isn't it? So there would be some characters coming in front of you. You have to name that character. The rules are going to be just the same. Like when you see the picture, you have to type in. You'd be getting 10 seconds per attempt. You'd be typing in. And the one who's going to write in first, 
for them, you are going to get plus 20 marks. And the second guy, second person is going to get plus 15 point. And the third person is going to get plus 10 points. Is that 100% clear to you? So what you have to do is you have to type in like a, it's a buzzer, isn't it, for us? So round four. Okay. So guys, I'll be showing you a picture. You'll be getting 10 seconds per picture. Okay. So the first picture is, what's the name of this? Okay, pretty popular. So the first one to write in is none other than Shreyas. Shreyas, go on. What's the right answer? Pikachu, I think. I think it's Pikachu. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, second is Antrik. Antrik, what is your right answer? If Shreyas is 100% sure. It is Pikachu. 100% sure. You're 100% sure. Ishita? Yes, sir. Same, sir. Pikachu. Pikachu, right. In Pokemon, right. What's the name of his master? I have, I, I'm forgetting actually. I have not watched card. I don't, I'm, now I don't watch cartoons, but in childhood, I used to watch many cartoons. Yeah. So any which way, that would have been a better question, isn't it? I, I, I do remember, like, I also watched this cartoon long way back, and I guess it was ass or something like that, isn't it? Yes, sir. I've right. watched it, actually. Jack yes. or ass, there's something, something like, like that. Jack. Yeah. It was ass, I guess. Okay. Uh, so right now, Pierce, you got the right answer. So for this, you are going to get plus 20. Okay. Now, moving on to the next cartoon character. First, the answer is definitely Pikachu. Right. So the next cartoon character is. There are 10 seconds. No negative marking, guys. You can try your luck. The picture tells it, says it all. You got three seconds. The time is up. Come on, guys. You could have gone for it. Whatever comes in your mind, no? That can be a right answer. So right now, Antarik, if you had to answer this question, what would have been your answer? I don't have any idea. Yeah, just look at the picture. What do you think like this? What is this? Look at these two faces. What is this face? Yes. Sarah. It's a cat. And what is this face? That's a dog. And that's the name. Cat or what? Come on. This is where you need to, we need to use our common sense. Guys, there is no negative marking. So go for it. Isn't it? Sir, I thought they would be fancy, like fancy names. So me too. See, sometimes, you know, we don't have to watch all the cartoons. I have never watched it. But, you know, this picture is pretty much self-explanatory, isn't it? Moving on to the next question, guys, which is... Chris, you're the first one to type in. And uh, I'm waiting for... Don't answer oh. it. Don't answer it. Don't answer it. Uh, five more seconds. Anyone else would like to answer this question? Guys, this is probably the last question. So, Antrik, you are the second one to write in. So, Ishita, that leads you to the uh, last spot. So, Shreyas. Goblin monkey. <laughs> no, it's not goblin monkey. So, Ishita, sorry, Antrik, you are the next one to go. It's, I think, uh, Jadaru. What? Then Jadaru, a cat. I think I, this cat is in Little Syndrome, I think. This villain. Yeah. You have seen it somewhere, isn't it? Yeah. I think this is Little Singham and its uh, name is it, its name starts with J, Jadadu, like something like that. J. Okay. I know it starts with J. It starts with J. It do have some J's in its name. Ishita. Yes. Uh, yeah, so simple guess. Gorilla Cook or something. <laughs> no, it's not that. None of you are correct right now. So, you know, have you ever seen a cartoon called Powerpuff Girls? Yes, sir. You have? Yes, there sir. are three small girls, those who can fly yeah. and they're powerful, isn't it? Awesome. Yes, sir. This is the villain of that cartoon. What was the name? The name is Mojo Jojo. Remember now that name? 
in the path of girls this was the villain of path of girls um now guys the thing is that was the last question of our grip mega quiz which leads it to which leads to the final scoreboard which is definitely sure you are going to get plus 20 from this round and uh, it is pretty obvious to us was the winner isn't it sure you are in 170 anthony you are in 140 that you are in 120 so let me present the scoreboard to you although it is pretty much clear to all of us the final scoreboard stands 190 for shares and 140 for untrek and 120 for etc but definitely guys this scoreboard for shares is definitely it deserves but for untrek and ishita i would definitely say that the scoreboard is not reflecting what uh, the way you have played you should be very close to shares the way you have played and that was a fabulous comeback from untrek in the middle round right and uh, definitely guys don't be disheartened about it and this was the first time you all three of you were here isn't it arshita you were there earlier as well uh, yes i know i have never qualified to this round to this round and antrik this is for the first time you are here right no sir i was here i am never qualified to this round but i attempted brief in the in class 7 also okay so, so for the mega friends all three of you were the, here for the first time isn't it yes, yes sir Yeah, so um, Shreyas, you are the winner of the Grip Mega Quiz, and um, definitely Antrik, you are the second one. You are holding the second po- uh, place, and Ishita, you are holding the third place. And uh, let me tell you, there are gifts for all three of you, and we'll be posting that shortly in our Facebook and in our Instagram profile, Instagram, uh, and all the social medias, and the, even the WhatsApp groups as well. Right. So uh, before we just uh, end this up, Shreyas, I would like to. uh ask you how was your experience the experience was very nice uh i would like to congratulate everybody who made it to the mega quiz and i would also like to thank all the faculties who guided me through this program uh i learned a lot of things from this and i had a lot of fun so it was really good definitely you're going to apply in the next year as well for grip and let's hope i would be able to see you again in the final round Antrik I guess both of you Antrik and Ishita you have enjoyed this round and I guess you have got yes, a sir. kick start to learn more and to apply for the Grip Mega Quiz again and I am also you know I just want to watch all three of you again in the team platform so that I can see you fighting against each other one more time one last time it was a really great experience for me as well guys so uh, that was a nice time that was a nice uh, evening well spent evening for me okay so definitely yes, guys sir. that would be it for today and hope to see you soon in the batches and the uh, classes that would be it for today bye everyone bye sir bye sir bye everyone bye everyone